this is the aerobic uh, section of the farm for composting for aerobic composting there are out of the different ways of composting this is one and um we're using our materials or should i say waste materials directly from the farm this is where our grasses come to play and we have also um, our cow dung and other green waste we also use dry materials inside of this composting um, this compost is about um, two weeks old and you can see how good it was it is right from the start it was about my uh, height but if you can see there have been some activities going on we have turned it and you see that it is coming down so this is one of the processes we use our grasses we have vetiver grass here we have napier grass here we have um, tree leaves we have uh, uh, melina leaves uh, teak and a lot of mixtures why we have these mixtures is to get different nutrients for the compost and then um, one of the reasons why we are composting is to make um, agriculture very affordable because after you use compost you don't need any uh, fertilizer your, your 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 plants will grow comfortably here without application of uh, uh, a fertilizer so this is um, uh, this is it and then um, also we also um, uh, use water time to time to control the temperature because we don't want it to be too hot and we don't want it to be too cold so that's why we have water here and also we have a cover to cover it so that um, uh, sunlight will not hit it directly and the rain will not fall on it directly why because I, like i said you have to control the the temperature and then how moist it is it doesn't have to be too moist and we can't leave it to be too dry because this is a uh, we have we, we want the micro and macro organisms to live inside comfortably so that's why we are uh, controlling other factors that might affect their life inside uh, the soil so this soil you can just like i said you can use it directly on your farm it's either you want to mix it with the soil or if you want a quick and good result you can use it directly in, in you can use it inside a pot or you apply it on the ground and on raised beds and then you grow your plants on it